This slide here describes uh, the, the basic modes of action on uh, uh, with these lame retardants on the on the polymers. So if uh, we are if you are considering or uh, using the halogenated flame retardants, basically they act what is known as in the gas phase reactions. They trap the, the flaming process is nothing but the formation of the free radicals, and those free radicals they keep on uh, uh, attacking the uh, bulk of the material and uh, destroy everything in its path. So the uh, halogenated materials, they tend to stop that process by trapping or neutralizing the free radicals. In other words, they are basically absorbing the energy, the flaming energy, and uh, that would uh, stop further growth of the flame. Then under non-halogenated category, we have these ATH and MDH. Uh, by virtue of their uh, presence of the water of hydration in their structure, they under decomposition, they help to absorb the energy, that, that is the flaming energy, and they release the water. And uh, also they help in the char formation. Uh, zinc borate, you know, I, I mentioned before, uh, that uh, helps in the char formation. And uh, this ADH and MDH, they basically act as a tiny fire extinguishers because they release the water of hydration effectively cooling the surface. And those, uh, the action of these uh, ingredients on the rather of these uh, flame retardants, uh, they, they act in what is known as the condensed phase. The next one is the phosph phosphorus containing flame retardants and phosphate esters. They act by inhibiting the flame and also they promote the charring process. And uh, we have uh, uh, other uh, materials like a melamine cyanurate and uh, intubescent products. And these are uh, form a so-called insulating barrier, thus stopping the flow of uh, supply of oxygen into the bulk of the polymer composition.